Christmas, Ricky. Happy Christmas, Steve. Who invited Yoko? Happy Christmas, Coco. Happy Christmas, Julie. So this is Christmas. John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Happy Christmas. War is over. On Radio 2. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant. Uh, good morning. And, uh, our producer, Carl Pilkington. But more about Carl later. We'll have to- we want to introduce the world to Carl, don't we? It's extraordinary to think that there are people yet yeah, that have not experienced Carl. A I whole know. new audience is going to discover I think him. of me and Stephen as like Anthony Hopkins in The Elephant Man. Yeah. Just taking Carl <laughs> round the country, the world. Maybe yeah. just letting- maybe some doctors and surgeons might want to, uh, after today. We just drop a sheet, he's there nude, and they yeah. can just ask him questions, examine him, see what makes him tick. You know, uh, that's Carl's favourite film, by the way, The Elephant Man. Mm -hmm. He said he loves it. He said, he said, one, he said, the title tells you exactly what you're gonna get. Yeah. He loved that, right? He said, two, it's sad. And, uh, I was saying, why is it sad? He said, well, there's that bit where, um, they take him, um, to show all the surgeons, and, uh, The Elephant Man is all naked and that. And, uh, the bloke goes, the, the genitals are normal. And Carl went, think of that, the one thing you would want like an elephant, and he gets the head. <laughs> That's why I thought it was That's sad. That's the kind of mind process of Carl, which we'll introduce to you later. Um, in the meantime- Well, yeah, um, you know, uh, if you're expecting uh, Jonathan Ross, then, uh, you're gutted. Yeah. Uh, you probably know me from such works as The Office, Extras, <laughs> Alias. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, Carl, uh, you don't know about. Stephen is, uh, is more familiar. Um, Stephen co-wrote and, uh, directed The Office and Extras with me. Um, you may have seen him in Extras as the agent. Uh, you may have seen him briefly in The Office. He is a goggle-eyed freak. You're referring to the character there, are you? Or? Yeah, whatever. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> no, well, no, no, it's just a little bit I'm just trying to paint a picture for people at Christmas. Sure. Steve. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say goggle-eyed, I think goggle-eyed freak's harsh. You know, these are pretty, dis these are designer specs. And, uh, right. yeah, admittedly I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tall, but, uh... Six foot seven. Yeah, but let's not have a go at that. Carl, we've got more like this later. I think we should play a record. We've done yeah, introductions. We'll pop a little song on. But do you remember well, the first time you saw Steve? Well, let, let's, let's pop a little song on on that, all right? Chat about it in a bit. All right. All right. Bruce Springsteen. Bit of Bruce Springsteen. Santa Claus is coming to town. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, Merry Christmas indeed. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant. Hello. And, uh, Carl Pilkington, if you have tuned in to, uh, hear Jonathan. It's the last time I mention him. Um, we haven't got him today. You've got, uh, us for the next, uh, couple of Saturdays. I feel like a, a stepfather. Sure. Do you know what I mean? I want to say to the listener, listen, you know, I, I never replaced daddy. Yeah. But I am here and I, and I, and I do my best for you and I, and I love you. Yeah. On the other hand, I want to go, listen, I'm doing mummy now, live with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's, that's exactly right, yeah. yeah. And hopefully that people will appreciate us and enjoy us just as much as Jonathan. I don't care if they don't. In really? fact, I, I intend to shave millions <laughs> of listeners off this by the end of the- You're doing a good job. But, the ones that have stayed listening to the end, they love it. Yeah, both of them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And I think I've got to have Christmas dinner with them tomorrow anyway, so <laughs> I could just have a chat. Uh, so we were introducing ourselves, I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Um, now, uh, it's difficult to describe Carl, I just think you'll have to get to know him over the next, um, two hours. But, um, we have, um, uh, taken the liberty of getting some stuff ready for you if you want to find out more about him. If you go to rickygervais.com, we've put up a special little page. Go into Who's Carl? We've got a little biography up of him and loads of pictures. And you have never seen a head rounder. Than he looks like Mr. Spoon from Button Moon. <laughs> yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or Bod. Yeah. Bod. Grown up. Like There's it, a yeah. little bit of Charlie Brown in there. He's even got Brown. a little striped shirt. It's perfectly rounded. It's balding, yeah. like to. And it's not. It's not a sort of like a. a Good balding. It's sort of like he looks like a worn <laughs> tennis ball. Do you yeah. know what I mean? He's got a little bit of growth. He's <laughs> yeah. not that sort of Teddy Teddy Savalas cool bald. No. It's just a scruffy little. I don't know what it is. Happy it Christmas, and that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, then, Carl? Your introduction to the nation. Well, you know, if we're going to start picking on looks and stuff, like you mentioned before, we can we can go over everyone in this room. What? I mean, let's make it fair. What? Let's, have, like... a chat, let's have a chat about <laughs> about Steve over there. What? What are you talking about? Well, you know, you know, how sort of I felt when I first saw you. <laughs> you know, wait, wait, right! Don't go mad, Steve. Let Carl speak. Right, this is his platform. No, no, I'm but, just saying. You just but, said about painting a picture. Yeah, go on then. I wouldn't paint a picture of that. <laughs> is it? Is what? Is, no, I'm not, Steve. You know I'm not having a go, mate. What, you're what, a good, what you, do you mean you're not having a go? It sounds like you're having a go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what did you think when you first saw him, man? When he first walked into that room all those years ago? Uh, sort of thought he looked like a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, Steve, you know, you know, but you know that you look a little bit odd. This, this what? isn't like a, this isn't like a shock to you. <laughs> You've had this. How old are you now? Thirty-one. Right, but so I you're thir like thirty-one. I don't, I don't, what do you look like as a baby? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Why is this a character assassination? No, no, I'm not, I'm not having a go. I'm just saying what it was like. Now, I'm, I'm used to you now. When I see you, I don't sort of double take anymore. <laughs> I just. He's coming out with this? No, but, you know, when, when you popped in and that, it was just a bit of a shock, and now, you know, I've, I've got used to it and that. Good, so. you're happy now. You can cope now. Yeah. Hold on. You were shocked when you saw Steve Merchant. You told me once you went to school with two fellas who had big heads and webbed hands and feet. Yeah. And they weren't related. Why- why were there two people about your school and yet you find Steve <laughs> freaky? You never said freaky. <laughs> <laughs> you said freaky. <laughs> you said freaky. <laughs> Madonna hung up. Now, she's, um, given us, uh, a platinum disc to give away. Nice. We were- and we've got a, a big prizes for Madonna and, uh, If Cold people Clay. are rushing around today on Christmas Eve tr thinking, I'm, I wanted to buy a Madonna platinum disc for, uh, for me, my mum. This you know, is it. There's no I can't find one anywhere in boots. We'll give you things you can't buy in the shops. Perfect. Um, and that's coming up, but, Carl, just, I, I, I don't want to. I'm not stirring it, right? You, you started a little bit of a war with Steve. You, you always are have. stirring it. Well, no, 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 well, no. This is what it, well, this is stirring right now. This is this is the terminology. But do you know that the fellas in your school, yeah. the big heads and web feet and webbed hands, web hands. Yeah. But but they hung around together, did they? Uh, I don't think they did. And they were nothing to do with each other. No, I think people expected them to sort of knock about together. But they, they must have thought, oh, that's, that'd be too obvious. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but where did you live? Near a power plant? Well, I mean, why, why did you have- I don't think it had anything to do with that, though. Just sometimes you get a little- look at Steve, he didn't live near a power plant. <laughs> no, no. Listen, can I just stop you there, right? Let me just stop you there, because I, I- it always happens. As soon as we, we, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a nice day and suddenly you're yeah, having yeah, a go, right? Uh, I didn't now, this has got- this got sent on the email, okay? Now, this is not me saying this. This is someone who's forwarded a review that was put- put on the web. It was a review of your appearance on one of Ricky's stand-up comedy DVDs, okay? I'm reading- I'm quoting this, this is not me saying it. Mm -hmm. It says that, uh, Carl, through a combination of his intriguing way of thinking and slightly less than human appearance, Right, Carl may just be the proof needed to muffle the cries of creationists the world over, as this missing link demonstrates that not only did man evolve from apes, but the process isn't quite finished yet. <laughs> okay, now that's someone else, an external person's opinion of you. But Are you the, having a go the, at me? the terrible thing about that is Carl's feelings aren't hurt because he didn't understand a word of that. I said the word creationist. That lost him. That, that's it. You, know, you just got to remember that Carl. You know when um, people say they're talking to their cat and they go, "Oh look, look at him, look at it." It's like he can understand what we're saying. Well, Carl's got that look, but you know he can't. Can't understand yeah. what right. what you're saying. All right, Carl. All right. No, but all I'm, I mean now we're now we're talking about your head and that. Right. When you go back to say your mum and dad, it's Christmas time, right? There's a lot of people <laughs> travelling up and down the country, going back to the mum and dad. They probably haven't seen them all year, right? <laughs> when you go back, <laughs> is it a shock to them again? <laughs> No, do, do you know like how you get used to how someone- like I say, I'm used to you, I see you a few times a week, I don't do the double take. But what I mean is, when you go back, do they sort of go, oh, here he is. Do you know what I mean? Play a record, this is- it's like- Let's leave it then, cause Let's move on then, because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get angry and we again. haven't even got- it's only- it's not even <laughs> 25 pounds, oh, Christmas! A little bit of Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah, there, oh, this is beautiful. Simon and Garfunkel. April come she will. Looking forward to spring already. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit premature, but <laughs> fine. <laughs> well, I thought it'd, you know, be nice, yeah. you know, it's like, if it's a bit well, let's cold. Get Christmas over first, all right? Christmas over. I, I love that. My mum used to go, oh, that's not over for another year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you used to look job. forward to it all year. <laughs> you know, buy things out of the catalogue, pay for it for the next 12 months, and they go, oh, that's not over now. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, five o'clock Christmas day, that was it. When is Christmas over? It's, mm, I would say Christmas is over once you've seen the Vicar of Dibley Christmas special. <laughs> really? Yeah. See, I think, I it think it was earlier than that. I then. think it was when y y the elderly ones fall asleep at about 3.30. Really? They wake up because the kid's playing with something noisy. Yeah. A game that goes <laughs> Something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, That's when, that's when <laughs> Christmas is over. You, you know what you're getting this year then. <laughs> exactly. I do. I, uh, I, oh, alright. I was shopping with Carl. I don't give anything away that I bought, right, because it, you know, but, I've got to tell you something. Um, I, uh, we went into this one shop. I didn't get anything from it, so I can talk about this, uh, for, for looking for, for a present for my girlfriend, Jane. And that was a beautiful shop in St. James's. 
they're all beautiful around there. And, uh, it was uh, this shop of, uh, sort of uh, kind of classic sort of antiquities and it was, uh, things that uh, this guy, you had to ring a bell for the bloke to come down. Carl was, b- was just so confused about that. He's used to someone standing there going, can I help you? Yeah. What size do you want? Right, and he came down and he, he, he loved his stuff. He absolutely loved uh, his stuff. And what sort of stuff was it? Uh, it was sort of stuff that he'd, um, it, uh, got from sort of like churches. It, it wasn't was old stuff, It was Steve. carvings. It was from the 16th and 17th yeah. century old. of saints, right? And I, and I said, this is beautiful. And I was talking to him. I said, what's this? And he was going, oh, that's so-and-so. I was going, oh, that's wonderful. Look at that, right? And I overheard Carl trying to make conversation. He said to this guy, who's so proud of this stuff, and it's, it's, you know, ah, oh, at 16th century, 17th century, he went, what's the newest thing you've got in it? Brilliant. And the bloke went, um, uh, we've got a, a statue, I think. For, from the, from the 60s of then, and he went, all right. He went, when was the last time you got something in? Bloke went, uh, we get something in every day. And afterwards I said, why were you asking those questions? He was going, well, I just, it always confused me with antiques. What happens when they sell that out? They're not making any more. <laughs> I just thought it was a, a sort of good bu- business to get into, that's all. Do you know what I mean? Why? But There'll always be well, antiques, Well, Carl. you said it yourself. The place wasn't buzzing, was it? <laughs> <laughs> He had to c- pop down. He couldn't even be bothered sort of sat in the shop waiting for a customer because probably days go by and nothing's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Done it. For you to ring the bell to wake him up to say, oh, I'll come and look at this old stuff. <laughs> Forget it. You know what I mean? So you've got all your Christmas shopping then, Carl. You, you, you're bang up to date. You don't. Uh, yeah, I've sorted, sorted, you know, most stuff out. But here's one for you, right? Here's a little question. Go on. Right, I've, I've finished a job, right, where I've been working somewhere for like about ten years. You can yeah. say it. No, no, I XFM, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been working where we met. It's yeah, it was, yeah. it was a good little place to work yeah. and everything, but I've had enough. Yeah. You know what I mean, after ten years. You and mo- that. You're moving on. We've, yeah, we've got, got a lot of things to move on, haven't you? You've got to, you know, try We're on radio out, too. Right? Yeah, no, it's good. Right, so yeah. you're moving on, yeah. Right. And, uh, so, th- so they gave me a present, right? They sort of said to me, what do you want? Yeah. You've done ten years. Tell us what gift you want and we'll sort you out. Right. So I said, oh, brilliant, yeah. So I knew Suzanne, my girlfriend, wanted a camera. No. Right? What? So. They got me a camera, they wrapped it up and they, you know, they, 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 like, me leaving dude, they said open it, and I go, no, I don't want to open it, no, what, what's going on? So, well, I'm gonna give it to Suzanne for Christmas. No. That's- Now, what- why That's is, a disgrace. But why is it, though? You can't, you, because it's- It doesn't matter, because I could have had a gift for myself and I didn't, I decided- You can't- No, 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 no! That's- that's second hand. That's- It's, a, it's not second hand, it, it hasn't been used, hand. I haven't even opened it. But surely no. the point about g- buying a gift for your girlfriend is that you've gone in the shop and done it. It's, there's a sentimental it's attachment. It's not about that. It's it about is though. It is, no, it is about that. It's no, it is about. Uh, it's about. It it's about them getting what so they want. So if you're walking down the street and you saw a camera and it was brand new and you went, "Oh yeah, Suzanne, happy Christmas." Uh, so are you going to tell her it was a gift? Well, no, you? she's at work today, so she doesn't need to know. So you're not even going to tell her. No point. So you've got deceit as well as meanness. Doesn't matter, does it? She's got what That's she wanted. That's disgraceful. Okay, I want to get the people on the text. Do you think that Carl's in the right? Eighty-eight two ninety-one. Eighty-eight two ninety-one. It should Carl be giving a gift to his girlfriend, which he's passing she's off? She's getting as anyway. his own present. You, oh, wait a minute, wait. It doesn't uh, matter what the. You cannot. The thing is, it would be okay if you were giving it to a mate or something. But I'd still tell them. I'd even say, look, I didn't, I didn't pay for this, but I know you wanted a camera. Yeah. But you're not going to tell her, so she's gonna think you spent 700 quid or something well, on it. 250. <laughs> he's, what, not what? Even, he's not even a 700 pound free camera. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 he went, he went, she'll, she'll never think that uh, I spent 700 quid on her. That is brilliant. Where's well, an improvement on last year? Do you remember what you got in last year? I'd rather he told us. Come on. What did you get, what did you get your partner, your life partner- Your lover. Last year, your last year for Christmas. How long have you been with her first? Um, 11 years. 11 years. What did you get her last year for Christmas? Some condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's unbelievable. Bang up two packets. Yeah, no, no, you bought her a big bumper packet of condoms from Boots or something, and you got one mm-hmm. packet free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're all, they've all been used. <laughs> Walk out to winter as tech camera. Before that, the Pretenders. Uh, it's Ricky Gervais's show, but I'm here. Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington's here. Right. Christmas Eve, Radio Two. Merry Christmas. Producer just came in and said, "Oh, can you give out the uh, the web address?" Um bbc.co.uk forward slash radio 2. I went, yeah, why? He said, uh, well, just in case people want to listen to this show again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's got a sense of humour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as if. So, Carl, we've had loads and loads of emails. We should just, if, in case you've just tuned in, uh, Carl received a leaving gift of a digital camera, uh, when he was leaving a job, and he's not even unwrapped it, he's giving it straight to his girlfriend for tomorrow, which 
Oh, I think we can. Andy's finish not going to tell her it was free. Andy thinks there's it nothing wasn't free. Right. It wasn't free. It was ten years of my life. I've had to, had to do that. Yeah, and you've been eleven with us. Think what she's gone through. She's had eleven years yeah. of her life. Yeah. Wow. You know, it was, yeah. Uh, Carl would have been okay if he'd have kept quiet. Idiot. Dave oh. in Salford. Jeez. He's right. Mm. Yeah, he's right. It's a disgrace. He has dishonoured his former employer and his girlfriend from Graham and Lane. That's a good point. It's an insult to the people that work there. They got you something they thought they really liked. They really went out and thought about it. They wrapped it up. You didn't yeah. even unwrap it in front. Because you couldn't be bothered to wrap it again even. You could have unwrapped it. Do you know- do you know what, um, uh, I- I, I really hope's happened? That before they gave it to you, they took pictures of their genitals in the toilet as a little- <laughs> little way. So your girlfriend's gonna get that and get lo loads and loads and loads of pictures of offal from people who work at XFM. What? That would be the- the best Christmas gift for me. What if there's a note or something inside that they've all right, written and signed to Carl? Look, he's thinking about that. Look, that is the first time he's ever <laughs> thought of that. Look at his head. Look at his Christian head. Christian Hull says, I think Carl's heart is in the right place. Don't know about his brain, though. Good point. A fair point. Uh, there's one here. Um, I once got a frozen box of fish my husband found whilst working in a chip shop. Carl's <laughs> girlfriend should be grateful. Yeah, I suppose so. But it, I mean, it, it's, it's staggering. It's one from Jane. It says, better his girlfriend has the camera as it looks like he hasn't got opposable thumbs. <laughs> and that's people having a dig. They don't even know you. But you know, you know why I'm not a sort of big fan of sort of Christmas and buying presents and that? Anyway, cause it's, I've had bad experiences in the past. When like you know, buying buying stuff for people. Go on. Um, you know, like when when I was a kid and that, right? Yeah. And you know, you, you put a lot of thought into buying presents, don't you, when you're a kid? Because you know you haven't got that much money to. How spend old are we talking? Um, about eight. Right. Okay. Yeah. About eight. Right. So you, so you look like you did, but you had hair, I assume. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> so eight years old, and that I'm putting a bit of planning into it, thinking, oh, you know, what does what will my mum want? Yeah. Right? Now, my mum's a big fan of, uh, gnomes. <laughs> right. right? Obviously. Like, like gnomes. <laughs> gnomes. She must be pleased how you turned out. <laughs> and fairies and stuff like that, right? Little elves and all that stuff, right? Sure. So I thought, right, I'll look for something that's- that's a bit gnomish. Right. <laughs> and there was you a shop- You got a Noel Edmonds. There was this- there was this- <laughs> there was this shop, sort of, down the road that, um, sort of sold a lot of tat, right? Oh, yeah. good. Um, <laughs> sort of every- you know, one of them shops where it, everything's quite cheap, it's sort of- they sell things individually that shouldn't be, like toilet rolls and <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that sort of thing. They right? used to think everything's a pound. Now they're saying that everything's 99p because yeah. a pound wasn't cheap enough. They're undercutting the pound yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Go on. So anyway, so I had a look in there, thinking, right, let's have a look, see if they've got any gnomes and that. And the closest thing they had, right, was uh, this this figure that's called uh, a Victoria Plum. Right. Victoria Plum, right? Yeah, it's like a little. No, woman. Victoria Plum. Right, get it right. It's like a it's like a woman gnome. Right. Okay. So I thought oh, I should love that. Right. So uh, save that. I think it was about two quid. Right. Yeah. Invest in one of them. Take it home and well chuff with myself and that. Wrapping it up. Pop it under the tree. Think I can't wait to see her face light up when she sees it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, do you know like when you're a kid? I, I bought that like two weeks before Christmas. Sure. Right. And do you know when you're sort of excited and you want to give someone a present earlier? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I sort of took my mum into this shop. Right. And we're just walking about, and the Victoria Plum was sort of there on the shelf. And I said to her, uh, I said, oh, I said, look at that up there, do you like that? She said, no, it's bloody horrible, right? Uh, oh. oh. So this is too late, it's too late <gasps> to go back. You spent it's, all it's your wrapped. money. It's, uh, money's spent, it's wrapped, it's under the tree, right? <laughs> I'm thinking, like, oh, I can't believe it. So I said, no, that, you know, made sure she's looking at the right thing. I said, no, that, that little gnome woman, yeah, it's horrible. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, right? Oh, God! Christmas Day comes, right? Yeah. I open my stuff, right? <laughs> She's this about to open really hers. This is really sad. This is like Dickens. She opened- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! She, she opened hers and that, and she went, oh, that's- that's lovely, that. I said, no, no, no don't give- don't give me that. Do you know what I mean? You said she, you she, it was she horrible. She, was, said a, she was a liar. Yeah. For pretending, for not wanting to hurt your feelings. She was a liar. And that's, you know, that's- that's why, you know- But things have do. moved on. What are you on about? Yeah, but you don't forget, do you? I don't- I still don't know how this justifies you not buying your girlfriend of eleven years an actual gift. Although that was quite touching. Yeah. Play a Christmas song, I'm, I'm welling up. <laughs> Let Me Try Again by Frank Sinatra. Beautiful song. Wonderful. On, uh, BBC Radio 2. Well, it's that time of year when we give- give gifts. Yeah, absolutely, and you know, we've- we- we like to give and we like to keep on giving. Right? Yeah. And, um, that's why it's competition time. Oh, sure. Yeah, nice sleep. Link. Yeah. Right. Uh, we have a, uh, platinum disc. Of Madonna's album Confessions on the Dance Floor, it's framed, classy. Giving that away 
to a person who can climb inside Kyle's brain and understand what the See, hell this is the challenge. he's doing. I, I think we should give him a chance. Or also, but we've got um, just because we can. This is like one of those gifts we made, yeah. isn't it? We didn't buy it. We made it. This is uh, extras on DVD, signed by both of us. Uh, See, that's like giving away my camera in a way. You know what I mean? How many? You've got loads of copies of them. There's no thought in it. You're having a go. You know what I mean? But <sighs> yeah, but we were involved with that. Yeah, we sort of did that. You well, did. I did ten it, years. If you designed <laughs> the camera and then built it in a little factory somewhere and gave it to Suzanne, I'd let you mm. off, but you didn't. Mm. Also, a copy of more flannels, which I signed, mm, okay. and um, mm. some flannel collectibles. Now they're handmade, you see. Now listen, this that's not a cheap gift. <laughs> the, a a <laughs> set of um, those flannels collectibles, right? They're not toys. They're handcrafted, right? They went for six hundred pounds on eBay. Mm. So that's a good gift. So if you win them, pop them on eBay, six hundred quid. Or six hundred and five, you know, they're, they're, they're very rare. <laughs> yeah. Davian Belfast, by the way, just the last one, he says, uh, I've bought my wife a silver necklace and I got the shop to put it in a box saying white gold instead of silver. Is this wrong? So if you're Mrs. Davy from Belfast and you get something tomorrow that says white gold, um, yeah, just, just maybe be careful. Pop back to the jewellers, just get them to check it. He probably thinks he's safe because she's not listening, but any friends yeah. of Davy from who's, who's got a wife who's gonna get a silver necklace with white and gold. And she'll be showing that off tomorrow going, that's white gold, Davey got it yesterday. When she'll be showing that off on Boxing did, Day. Yeah, I wonder if you feel guilty. Yeah, it'll slowly become, it'll haunt him, like Poe's the telltale heart. Tell Every the time truth. he sees it. Tell the be... truth, Davey. Tell the truth. Yeah. Say, it's still, it's still a beautiful gift, it's a lovely thought, but, but don't lie. Don't, yeah. don't mix a lovely gift with a lie. It's this, this, this notion that, that Christmas is a chore. Oh, I gotta get the missus something. I know, I know, exactly. It's bizarre, isn't it? It should be, it should be a joy, Carl. Yeah, well, I do. I treat her all year round. How do you treat her all year round? We know you got through two boxes of condoms, but that to <laughs> me isn't a treat. <laughs> Waking up next to you every day. Well, listen, are we, are we doing this quiz? Right, right, Rockbusters, we should explain what Rockbusters is. Um, don't be fooled, it has no association with the popular TV show Blockbusters. Although he's just ripped off He's the ripped idea. off the name, but I don't yeah. want to say the quiz is anything like it. That quiz actually had a format, I don't know what this is. I know. We should give it, basically, um, Carl, uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. You you describe what you explain. It's it, Carl. Like I can't it's, even it's, do it. Justice. It's like a, a cryptic. No, it's not cryptic because a cryptic clue actually makes sense every part of it. Yeah. You, you, you might as well call this "What band am I thinking of?" Yeah. Right. Go on. Well, well, what I do is let's let's sum it up in an easy way, right? I give yeah. you some initials of an artist or a band. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. like they play on Radio Two. If you listen to Radio Two a lot, right, you'll know the sort of songs we play. Big good songs, right? And what I do, I give you like a little description, like a cryptic clue. Right. About that, about that band, right? Yeah. So say, say like if I said, um, uh, if I gave you the initials WH, right? Sure. Yeah. This is a classic said, one, isn't it? This, this, this is a, yeah, classic Rockbusters clue, right? WH are the initials of the artist of the band, right? Yeah. And then, like, you say, right, I was, I was in Texas, <laughs> right, having a, having a wander about, I was over there on holiday. Yeah. This is the Think clue, of this how long a clue is <laughs> this. Imagine this on the TV. gold run. Yeah. Oh, right, but, but, yeah. so I was in Texas and that, mm. and, um, it had been raining. I right. fell over, right? right? Uh, landed, sort of, uh, <laughs> landed on me, uh, on me leg, right? <laughs> yeah. So, that's the clue, and then I say WH. Right. And, and the that, answer would that be? That would be like, wet knee in Houston, right? Wet, wet knee Houston. There's no artist called wet, wet knee Houston. Wet, wet, wet knee Houston. No, don't try and make wet sound like wet. No, no but I'm just saying, that's, well it no, works, no, 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 People no. got it. Who's wet knee right. Houston? Who's wet knee Houston? Alright, forget that one, here's another one, right? <laughs> This is what you're dealing with, people. This is extraordinary. This, this is, is what you're this dealing is... with. No, right, here's, here's, here's another one then, but easier, right? Right. Uh, the initials... Well, no, no, don't make it easier, make it work. Right. Okay, come the on. The initials N-D, N-D, yeah. right? And the clue would be something like, uh, oh, someone's stolen me, me garden tool, right? Someone's stolen me garden tool, so you think about it, right, what's a garden tool, oh, what's going on? Someone's stolen it. <laughs> Nicked Rake, right? Nicked Rake, Nick, Nick, Nick Rake. Nick Drake, you yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, Nick Drake. That nearly Nick works. Drake. Yeah. Mm. So that's, that's, that's the sort of thing we're gonna be doing. Uh, I don't know if you wanna- Well, let's play a record and then we'll come back with the actual clues <sighs> and you can win yourself this, uh, platinum disc. It's exhausting. It's, album. it's good, Nick, Nick It's Drake. exhausting. It's Nick, Nick Drake, Nick Drake. Isn't Radio 2 brilliant? It is. It's, it's good, right, I'm, yeah. I'm loving it here. Yeah, it's just nice to be off the Tim Pot station. <laughs> <laughs> Don't slag it off. No, There's enough on, out not. there for everyone. Yep. This is Christmas and all, everywhere, everything's lovely. Right. Yeah. Isn't it, Carl, in your yeah. world? Right, Rockbusters. Let's, let's get on with it. Okay, right. these are the genuine clues. You can win yourself this uh, Madonna Platinum disc plus some other goodies and uh, the clues are, right. <laughs> please, Carl. So there's three clues, by the way. We've got to get three 
three okay. right to win this. Oh, this is so hard. Okay. I mean, the the worrying thing is if you do get these, you you think like Carl. Yeah, which is really so you good. might want to give up. All the goodies, just to not <laughs> admit that you got uh, a so-called Carl cryptic yeah, clue. Yeah. Right here we go. I'm right, ready for it. Okay. Ready they better work. No, no, they, they better good. work. They always let's do. Let's go. Let's Wetney do. Houston doesn't work because uh, her name's not Wetney. Well, they got it last time, didn't they? So, right, first one. Put the. Uh, <laughs> oh. I mean, it's just not. Imagine that in the Times crossword. Um, <laughs> right. but the. Um, listen, do you know? Okay. The, do you know the little information? What, do, what are we doing? Uh, no, listen, what are you doing? Let's hear it. Let's hear is, this, is this still the clue you're yeah, reading? This is what I'm giving it. Rick, to we now. want to get this done before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let him hear it. Oh, right. Carl. Listen, shh. do you know the little information card you get in a mobile phone? Oh, sorry. Is this the clue? This is the clue. Okay, fine. Oh, what are you going to say, Rick? Boy? Rick, you're annoying me. Okay, quiet. Now let's hear it. The little information card you get on your mobile phone, right? No, what's that? Sh well, this is the question. What is it, right? <laughs> but put that. <laughs> oh, shut up! Shut up! Will you be quiet? We got to do the news in five minutes. We got to get right. three clues out. You put, you put that little card right on a spider's house. <laughs> the initials. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Oh, the initials. Quiet. If you if they don't hear the initials, they can't play along. It's okay. important, right? S W. Right, I'm making a note of this. S W. Right, S -W. so that little the card, li you information get. card from. I've got it. I've right? got it. Right, put that on a spider's house. Right. Oh. Second one. <laughs> Diana Ross isn't feeling that good. <laughs> <laughs> right. But that's the clue. Yeah, that's the clue. I D. Right. Diana Ross isn't isn't feeling that. It's not good at the moment. She's, she's oh, it's not. different. Different. <laughs> How can it be cryptic if the clue's different the next time? Diana Ross isn't feeling that good. ID, right? Okay. Right. And then the last one, uh, that stuff that, oh. that I put on my toast, right? Right. It, it doesn't taste sharp enough, right? That stuff I put on my toast, oh, doesn't taste, doesn't taste sharp <laughs> enough. <laughs> right? Bob Holness, <laughs> eat your heart out! The, uh, the initials, JB. Right, so there you go. There's wow. the three clues. No. Okay, so right, I've got that, and it doesn't work. Well, well does not work. Just got until I'll after quickly, the new. Hang on a sec, Carl. Let me give out how the people can get in touch. Right, come on, on, I know you're excited to, to do the clues again. You can text us eighty-eight two ninety-one. You can give us a call oh five hundred two eighty-eight two ninety-one, or you can email gervais at bbc.co.uk. The clues again, then, Carl. Well, quickly, uh, that information card you get on your mobile, just pop it on a spider's house. Right? <laughs> That's S W. Yeah. Second one. Diana Ross isn't isn't you know feeling that good at the moment. What's up with her? Huh? Oh, I did, I, I did stuff. What's I, the initial? ID. Yeah. And then the last one, that stuff I uh, put on my toast, doesn't sort of taste sharp enough, right? What's going on there? <laughs> JB, JB, right? T Rex Christmas Bop on Radio Two. After the news, we've got the answers to Rockbusters. Good luck with that. Still time to get those answers in. Uh, plus, we've also got some more stuff to give away. Second competition, and of course, Monkey News. If you've never heard of Monkey News before, you will not believe your luck. It is truly extraordinary, Rick. Am I right? Yeah, you are. But this is the real <laughs> news on eighty-eight to ninety-one FM. This is Radio Two from the BBC. Talk by Coldplay. Um, we've got some. Uh, Coldplay stuff to give away in this in the second hour coming up soon. Some collectibles and some signed stuff and albums and everything. But this is the Madonna one we're uh, we're playing for the Madonna gold disc plus platinum the, disc. Platinum disc. Is that better or better than work? That's better. Yeah. Is it better? More yeah. Sales? Yeah. Well, uh, it's a gold one, but I just got the shop to put right platinum <laughs> sure. on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's a wonderful gift. So whoever wins this is sorted out, and we got some other stuff that uh, me and Steve have made for you as well. Um, so Carl. Give us the uh, clues again and the answers. So we're doing it now. This yeah. is it, Carl. This is, this is it. it. This, is the, this is the final moment where we actually get to see how your mind works. And you've got a winner and everything. We're the ready to go, right? Right. First one was, you know that that little card you get yeah. in your mobile, right? Yeah. You put that. Yeah. Okay. On a spider's house. Yeah. Okay. Right? So I, I got that one. The initials were S W. Yeah. So it's web. It's it's sim on web. S Simon Webb. Yeah, Simon right. Webb. I don't, I've S never Simon heard Webb. of him. I've never heard of Simon Webb. Is that Webb. a French artist? S S Simon Webb, isn't it? Oh, no, you, you said Sim, out. though, mate. No, no, but it still works. No, oh, it doesn't really? work, mate. No, it does. Doesn't, mate, because you said Simon Webb, mate. It <laughs> doesn't work. Well, they mate. got it. We've got a winner, so don't Yeah, it doesn't work, though, mate. Next. Right. Let's see if the next one, one works, because that one doesn't work. Right. Simon Webb. Right. From the pop band Blur. Right. Diana Ross. Right. She's not looking that good. There's something wrong with her. That's changed. Right. That's completely changed. Diana Ross isn't feeling that good. Right. Right. That, that was a clue. The initials were ID. I have no idea. Right. That was, that was, you know, ill. Ill. She's a diva. Ill diva. Ill, ill, ill divo. Right. That, that sort of opera 
type. I'm, I'm, I, I, I honestly, I'm speechless. Again, they got it, so don't worry yourself <laughs> it's about it. It's absolute nonsense. Diva and Devo are two different You're an idiot. Right. You're re you really are so, a stupid idiot. So well done, if you got that and that. <laughs> uh, last one. Um, <laughs> that stuff I put on my toast. Yeah. Right? So it doesn't taste right. It's not. It's not sort of sharp enough. No, well, I've got. I've got. I've got it to be blunt, and I've got jam, jam yeah. blunt. But there's so no artist called jam. There's blunt. no jam. No, I, I got, there's no artist called the jam. No, no, I've got look like J jam. Jam's blunt. Jam, jam's blunt. James. I don't know anyone called jam's blunt though, so, mate. So there's. there's what? Your oh, no. What's the what's the answer? James Blunt. No, 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 you said Jams Blunt, James, mate. James Blunt, so Doesn't the, work. So who's the winner, It doesn't Steve? work. It's Steve. not a cryptic clue. It Steve. doesn't work. Steve, who's, who got them right? You're yeah. such well, an idiot. I don't know what to say to this guy. I mean, as soon as Christmas is over, pop in somewhere, get yourself checked out. Steve, I don't know how you pronounce his surname, Steve Toes or Steve Toes, eh? Um, he says, he says, admittedly, he says this is the worst quiz ever. It is the worst quiz ever. It He's really still got is. the answers. Nice one. And he also says, say, say hello to my Mrs. Amy, who's up the duff for Christmas. Lovely, a wonderful poetic image. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, appropriate yeah. as well, you know, baby Jesus born this year, you know, born this year in well, something or other. Don't, don't be going into that. Why? Well, it's, well, you know, BBC and everything, you've got a, you know, there's a lot of people out there, different religions and that. Let's, let's not talk about little baby Jesus and that. Why not? But you can talk just about best, Jesus. Just leave it. Well, we've just been saying Christmas all the time. What are you, what, what are you talking about? What have you been reading? I'm just saying. This is like last year when I was at the Christmas dinner table with my parents, and my sister is, uh, religious, I'm not, and we were arguing about, uh, Jesus, the meaning of Jesus, and my mum said, will you stop arguing about Jesus? It's not the time. <laughs> I was thinking, well, this has got to be the time. Yeah. I mean, there's no other time than his birthday. No, I agree yeah. with you. It's One and yeah. two. I think the time to talk about Jesus is Christmas and Easter. Easter. That's pretty much the big two. No, no, it? it's, it's popular at this time of the year, but I'm just saying it's best, you know, there's other people out there, do you know what I mean? We're going out to- But whole... we're talking to everyone. It's just, just we, we just happen to be here yeah. at the Festival of Christmas. Right, yeah. Well, uh, happy Christmas to everyone now. <laughs> Play a record card. <laughs> Seth Lakeman and, uh, Fight for Favour, one of my favourite songs of the year. Isn't that beautiful? It's very nice, yeah, I've not heard it before. On Radio 2. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, uh, right. Christmas Eve, you know that already, I don't know, I don't know why I'm We're giving that. gifts, we're giving the, 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 the gift of song. Yeah. And chat. <laughs> the gift of chat, the gift of rockbusters. The gift of- oh, the gobbledygook. The gift of Carl. Yeah. To the nation. You cannot buy that. You can't bottle it. If, I'd like to see him bottled. That'd be ideal. Like a little frog. Pickled in a jar. Yeah, exactly, yeah. He will be one day. He will be in Ripley's. Yes. One day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah. say he used to walk round amongst us. <laughs> exactly. It's it quite normal. <laughs> but, uh, let's not forget why, um, why we give gifts. Y well, yeah, just to cheer people up, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's because the wise men gave oh, okay. gifts to the baby Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, that's why. What would you have got the baby Jesus? I'd have probably got him tokens. <laughs> and let him decide, because he's very, you know what I mean, you don't want to get anything, you know, and then he doesn't like it, he wants to take it back. Well, I'll tell you, in a recent poll Waterstones did, the favourite gift for children was flannimals. Still available? That's so outrageous. <laughs> that's so <laughs> disgraceful. It's Christmas Eve. What would you have got him then? Probably well, extras on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make any money from flannables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the, uh, I like the fact that, uh, one of the wise men turned up with gold. And the other two, frankincense and myrrh, which as I understand it is what, some, it's like incense or something? Incense or perfume? I don't know. I think, I believe that's what it is. But I just love the idea that one of them, they've all got together, they've gone, okay, now guys, we're not gonna spend more than 50 quid each this year, alright? Definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely not. Definitely not. So what have you all got? Before we go in and see him, what have you all got? Uh, I, uh, I, I spent a bit more than 50. What are you talking about, man? We just say we weren't spending, we, uh, no, we, we were just gonna whip around something cheap, like just, a token. No, I got him, got him some gold. Can't believe it, what? Well, I'm trying to make an impression he's the son of God. But I did, no, what, but what, I, we only got Frank, what, I got frankincense. And what's the other fella get? He got myrrh, and I don't even know what that is, and I'm a wise man. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have been, surely one of them must have been furious. Is myrrh still popular? Gold's still very popular. Oh, I hope so, because that's what my grand's getting this year. Really? Yeah, lovely well, that's, the, that's why we, that's why we give gifts. Do you know, like, how he got them gifts, right? Yeah. Little baby Jesus. Yeah. Were they for Christmas or his birthday? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Radio 2 indeed. Uh, uh, you heard the, uh, Pogues, Fairy Tale of New York. One of the best Christmas songs ever. I think the best Christmas song ever, and one of the best songs Absolutely. ever. Absolutely. No, that's it's, uh, it. it's brilliant. Do you like that, Carl? It's alright, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Enjoying yourself, Carl? Uh, what, being here? Yeah. That? Yeah, it's, uh, it's alright. I mean, we're getting looked after and that. I can't believe, like, you know, the amount of food and that we've got here. 
It's mental. Yeah, mince pies, fruit, it's all going on. Just like, like a little Arby's festival going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where you take the pineapple chunks well, for an old lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's going all right. I mean, I've been, been sort of listening to Radio 2, you know, the last few weeks. Sure. Enjoying it and that and sort of, you know, making sure we get the show right. Yeah. You know what I mean? We want it to fit into everybody else's shows and that. Oh, yeah. yeah. This yeah, fits yeah. into, uh, everyone else's show. Right, this I've is been thinking. Oh, right? yeah, this is, this is great, this show. This right. is perfect. Listen again, of course, on bbc.co.uk forward slash radio 2. But, <laughs> but something that, uh, Wogan does, right, on breakfast, Terry yeah. Wogan, yeah. right, he does this little thing called, uh, Thought of the Day. Yeah. And I thought we could carry it on. I've, I've like a little- What, you're a, gonna do it? Just, just have a little thought. Well, if you ever have a little thought, please tell us and we'll put it up on the website. Oh. Well, you, you, you want to do, you want to do thought for the day? Yeah. It's a big, it's a big feature, isn't it? It's, does it in the Have you got one? Have you got a thought for the day you want to do, or are you just gonna, when I, uh, uh, uh. Well, all right, well, okay, well, no, all right, well, let's have a little jingle. Have a little jingle. Okay, I don't know what the jingle is, I, I, I no, don't know. No, but just make some Okay. You listen to Radio 2, the Ricky Gervais show, with thought for the day, with Carl Pilkington. Right, well, uh, thanks for having me, right? Um. <laughs> Brilliant. I'd just like to say, you know, it's it's Christmas time. Um, you know, cheer someone up, have a laugh with them, make the day and that. So, happy Christmas. That's it. That's well, your thought for the it's, day. It's, you don't need to mess about, you know <laughs> what I mean? Just, if you can do that today. Yeah, I'll add that. If, if you can, if you can do that today, cheer someone up. Right? I mean, this is quite sweet. Carl is quite sweet. You know, yeah. I, I think I give him, I don't know, not child rights, because children are a lot more intelligent than Carl. Um, I don't know, sort of, I suppose animal rights? No, animal, mm. no. Because they're, 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 they're no, sort of- No, but it's, it's- Well, I mean, you see, the thing is, Wogan normally has on, uh, um, a priest or a rabbi or a thinker, not normally the modern equivalent of, you know, Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, so, no, but, but I've, I've been busy, I, mean, I haven't got time to- they sort of drag it out. They have, they have like a fable or something, don't they? Uh, cut out all that, right? <laughs> Vickers, you know, they've got a lot of time on their hands when they're- Who, Vickers? Just, yeah, just, you know, when they're, when they're in their house. Well, not Christmas, it's their busy time as well, I would have thought. Christmas, Vickers. Do you yeah. think they only work Sundays? Well, yeah, again, you know, I'm always a bit worried because I don't want to have a go on that, but, you know, they've got- they do alright for themselves, they've got- they get given that house to live in and that. <laughs> No, they, they don't, they, well, it's the house of God, they don't- they don't no, actually no, 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 keep no, 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 they- it's not the house of God, they live next door to the house of God. Right. So that's the house of the vicar. They live, they usually live, uh, joined the up- The house of Barrett. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the house of Fraser. Yeah. No, the vicar lives in a little vicar's house, yeah. little vicarage, and that's usually joined on to the house of God. Yeah. You don't, don't get those addresses mixed up. He doesn't get all God's mail and he's going, ooh, for you again. <laughs> well, if you, I mean, you've heard now the way that Carl's mind thinks, you've heard over the last hour and 25 minutes, we've got these, uh, Coldplay collectibles and stuff to give away. If you have a question for Carl, okay, you've seen the way he thinks. Brilliant. A question that you want to ask him, you want to get his opinion on something, you might want to get his opinion on, uh, the supernatural, on, um, you know- Civil um, rights. Anything you want. Just get his mind work, because he loves to learn, he loves to be educated, mm -hmm. he loves to ask questions. Uh, you can text them in, uh, 88291, you can email them them in, uh, Gervais at bbc.co.uk. Uh, this is an example of how Carl thinks. Once, um, w me and Steve were talking to Carl, and we told him that, uh, they're gonna be able to bring back a mammoth soon, bring a mammoth to life. He went, you joking. And we thought, oh, that's interesting, is it? And then we realised, I said, what do you think we said? He thought we said man moth. A man moth. Yeah. Right? And we said, what were you thinking when you thought it was a man moth? He said, I thought of a little moth with a fella's head bumping into a lamp. <laughs> Stevie Wonder on Radio 2, I wish Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. You wish you were Stevie Wonder. I'd love to be Stevie Wonder. He's great, yeah. isn't he? Well, uh, Carl has started offending everyone. As Brilliant. Thought, but we've got to explain, Carl does- I mean, he honestly means no harm. He no. does these things what, that- What bit? What? What for said? Well, um, this is from Reverend, uh, uh, Gwyn Owen from Stockwood. Yeah. A vicar, okay. When I'm tired of being a vicar and working one day a week, maybe I'll become a DJ and do bugger all a week. <laughs> and that's a vicar swear. <laughs> yeah, you made a vicar swear. That's how infuriated well, you minute, are. <laughs> Why does he listen to the radio if he's busy? <laughs> he's done you, Reverend. Uh. <laughs> oh dear. No, no, anyway, if you have a question for, for Carl, we, we're going to give away these uh, Coldplay collectibles. If you have a question that you think will really pique his interest, really make his mind work, then you can uh, get in touch with us and uh, the best question will win those uh, Coldplay collectibles and a few other odds and ends we've got knocking around.
gifts. Yeah. But did I ever tell you about the gift? I think my father's, uh, favourite gift he ever received one Christmas. It was a- and I was so jealous of it because I was a kid and I thought this is m- How this is you, amazing. Probably about ten. Right. And I thought this was dying. I was so jealous. It was a reversible jacket. What happened to them? Well, I know. I mean, they were all the rage for about twenty-five minutes. And, um, and- and it was a me- but what was great about it is it seems to me with a reversible jacket, what you want is you want, say, checks on one side and just, say, plain blue on the other. So it- it completely looks like a completely different jacket. Yeah. Whereas this one, obviously, a little bit cheaper, um, mum not splashing out a huge amount. It was kind of- it had a beige body and yeah. white arms. Yeah. You turned it inside out, beige arms, white body. It looked almost identical. And I could never quite understand when he was ever going to utilise that. When people would think, uh, you know, when, do you know what I mean? When he, when he would, he'd walk to a party, they'd say, Well, I know, think it was having two jackets in one that was the, the buzz, not that, so he'd walk, he'd, yeah, he'd go into a party, and I'd go, alright, Ron, new jacket. He goes, yeah, yeah. Notice, notice before I go <laughs> to the toilet, <laughs> yeah. that this is a beige body with white arms. <laughs> yeah, alright, whatever one. No, no, no. But when I come down, notice that when I came in, <laughs> I was wearing a jacket that had a beige body, and white arms. You got that? Yeah, all right, yeah. He comes down, I go, remember that jacket I came in wearing? <laughs> yeah, the beige body, have another look. <laughs> have another look. That is Wait a minute, that must be a completely different it jacket. Is a completely different you jacket. must be one of the richest men in Bristol. But hold on, but you weren't carrying anything, you didn't have a bag or anything. No, 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 no uh, <laughs> well, okay, if you must say it's a reversible jacket, all right? <laughs> It's the best, <laughs> the best. But the only idea of a reversible jacket must be so that you think people think that you've got two jackets. That's the whole point, surely. I know. I don't understand what's the what's the appeal otherwise. One black, one white, one that furry, makes sense. one. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So reversible. That's why they died out. Yeah, clearly. Like the dinosaur. The like the dinosaur car. We didn't need them. Didn't need them. Still be here if we needed them. Well, they're bringing back a mammoth, though, aren't they? So yeah, they are bringing back a mammoth thing. But yeah. listen, you know, we're chatting about presents and all that, and before my little. My little thought of the day about- It was a little thought. Just, you know, cheer someone up if you can. Brilliant. Right? I mean, it's a nice sentiment, but it's- yeah, okay, go on. Well, there's a- there's an old woman, right, who lives next door- shoe? Who lives next door to my mum and dad, right? And this- this is what I mean about, you know, the old people, they might not have that many people cheering them up this time of year. Um, so, you know, if you can, get them a little gift and that, cos what happened was, this old woman living next door to my mum and dad- How old are you? Uh, this- this was only about two years ago. Okay. Right? And, um, you know, I think her son's left home, doesn't keep in touch, you know, doesn't even phone her, I don't think, and that, right? Quite sad. <laughs> and, uh, I, I thought I'll give her a bit of my time, have a chat with her, try and cheer her up and stuff. And, uh, I said, alright, how's it going? She said, yeah, not bad, uh, I need a, a new, you know, dishwasher, right? I was going, yeah, yeah, and she was saying, but I don't get a chance to get out these days, you know, I can't get about like I did. And, uh, and all that, and I'm going, yeah, it's bad that. Anyway, I go to like, one of those big superstores where they sell all electrical stuff and that, right? I'm in there, I think, oh, I'll get her a little catalogue so she can have a look, right? Got back, gave her that, I said, there you go, whilst I was in the superstore, I'll get you a little catalogue so you can have a look at dishwashers and that. She's over the moon, she still goes on about it. It was years ago. What, that you got her a catalogue? I got her a catalogue. Oh, I thought you said you were going to buy her a dishwasher. No, no, just- just the catalogue and that. Oh, that- but the, you, you, your life is sort of like, just bittersweet tragedy. That's what I'm saying. It's like something from Shameless. I know, but it, it is though, cos you've got in the street and there's- there's people knocking around with, um, big heads and webbed hands and webbed feet. That- that- I mean, that must have been Well, she- she's pretty weird, anyway, this old woman, cos she- she was And that's me. coming from you. No, no, well, after I got her the catalogue and that, she opened up a bit and she was saying how, you know, she's- she's a bit odd anyway, cos she woke up one morning with blood for- sort of falling on her head. From a, a, a dead rabbit hanging over her. So, I mean, she's, she's a nice- What are you nice talking- What are you talking about? No, that's- that's what she went on to. She sort of opened up a bit and- What said, oh. street? W- what street were you born in? Where is this place? Is it no, Elm no. Street that you live on? <laughs> she, just, she just said a, a man was a witch or something, so it was like- Oh, oh that, like normal. Like you said <laughs> that like it's normal. normal. It's just- just- just a bit odd, isn't it? But, you know. I mean, but- but talking about, like, where I live and all that, right? Uh, one story that I've, I've told you before and everyone's always like, that didn't happen, right? Just a couple of houses sort of down from where I lived, there was this family <laughs> who, uh, had horse in their house. <laughs> <laughs> they what? They had a- they had like a horse in their house. I- I'd been out with me dad, right, and I drove back into the, uh, me dad was driving, he, he went back into the avenue, sort of went down to the bottom to turn round to get back to our house. Sort just via the OK Corral? Just sort yeah. of did a little glance and I saw this- this horse being led in. <laughs> <laughs> had, a horse, had a horse in there and stuff. Well, I just- have you vi- have you been back to visit your- your uh, street? 
Don't really. There's no. Why did they have a horse in the, house, in the house? I don't understand. I don't know. I think they they must have nicked it or something like that. It was a council estate in Manchester, and you know I, I've told that story. They've just been doing a bit of How wrestling. Did, yeah, they they they, they, they uh, made the horse go in with a hoodie. And they said, don't call suspicion. Yeah. Just like, you know, we just pretend it's our long lost brother. Oh, just, just pretend we're rehearsing a panto. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's two blokes. It's just two blokes in this horse. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. The little old lady who gave her a catalogue. That's yeah. very sweet. You oh, see that? Mean. And it's that just a little thought. That's your thought for the day, isn't it? That's what just I'm cheer saying. someone up. So nip down to Argus. There's free ones stacked up. Go and hand them out to the elderly. Mm. They love it. The Jayhawks on Radio 2, bad, uh, bad time is it? I think it's called bad time. So we were so distracted by all the questions that come well, in these for These are great. There's fa thank you so much for emailing and texting. They're, they're brilliant. Um, uh, here's one uh, from Reverend Rachel Harrison. I'm also a vicar and I'm making mince pies. We know our demographic now. We've got a load of vicars listening. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, they're good at spreading the word and that, aren't they? You know, tell people about the show and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and also mincemeat, clearly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, all vicars listening, spread the word. Tell them about Carl. And have a great time tomorrow, it's your special day. Uh, although Carl, doesn't Carl sort of- does Carl, does Carl go against creationism or for it? I don't know. What do you mean? Would he have evolved or did something make it? All I, I'll I, say to the- would- would God have bothered to- Is <laughs> that- <laughs> Is that in God's image? <laughs> I mean, that's surely the most blasphemous no, thing you could no, say. Bod made him in his yeah, image. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I he's made in the image of Bod. <laughs> is, is he the one who sort of decided? Who? That, God. Are you talking about God or Bod? Uh, God and that. Okay. Is, is he the one who decided that, you know, <coughs> we should move out of the water and walk on land? Did he decide that or once, once he made the little egg, did he sort of go <laughs> run free? Do, do I don't he, know where we are. <laughs> I don't know what part of the- <laughs> if, could I just say, if uh, there are any um, vicars out there, could Carl come and do a, uh, a sermon one day? I mean, we'll pay, we do, we do a big donation to, a, to your roof, but can Carl just talk to five minutes to a, I mean, a really sort of, I'd like an upper middle class educated parish somewhere, and Carl just comes and talks for ten minutes. The only God. time that a congregation anywhere has heckled the person doing <laughs> no, it. No, Get yeah. off! Yeah, then they're chasing to the castle, carrying pickaxe <laughs> handles. torches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some right. questions for Carl? These are amazing questions. Okay. And just right. give your your immediate response to them, Carl. Don't not too much thinking time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. What would happen if insects were bigger than us? <laughs> Who's that from? Uh Vicky of Milton. Milton. Keynes maybe? I don't it ran out. So I don't think there is a place called Milto. It's from Vicky. What Carl, what would happen if insects were bigger than us? She's going into the uh the possible winner file there. Would um would David Attenborough still like his job? Do you know what I mean? Would would he start worrying? Why I've would got he worry? that point. Just because you know insects and that, he's always messing about with them. But would he be that keen <laughs> to like eight foot? <laughs> 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 is what I mean. If they look like me, sure. brilliant. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, th look, this is a nice one. This is uh, from uh, Jason. Can Carl do something to prove you are on live and not recorded? I'm sure that will tax his little bald head to bursting point. Um, what's his name? Jason. How can you prove that we're live on air? Come on, how could you prove that we're live on air? Happy Christmas Eve, Jason. No, we could have recorded this a week ago. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be Christmas Eve. No, but- <laughs> Happy she Christmas Eve, innit? No, but we didn't no, record Carl, it and think! Think! Alright, it's, uh, it's, it's nearly quarter to twelve. Yeah, but we could have, we could have started with the clock knowing that we were gonna record it as live. We could have done this last all right, Wednesday. Alright, alright. Uh, it's Radio 2, it's a uh, nice day out there, sun's out. That's a guess. And, 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 do you think- oh, it is sunny, yeah, it is, it is sunny, but yeah. Generally but, it's but, but, hold on, wait a minute, we're in London. Someone listening in, in Manchester, it might be raining. It probably is raining. Um, Look, he can't work out how to make sure it's live. Look at him looking up in the sky, look at him! His head is gonna burst. There's a little bit of blood coming from his <laughs> ear. How can we prove we're live? My mum's budgie died last night. <laughs> Don't laugh about it. Don't it's laugh. only your mum that can confirm <laughs> that. Oh, yeah. No one knows whether your uh, the budgie died or not. Was he was he was he pictured holding a copy of today's paper? Uh, what are you talking about, Carl? I can't I can't prove anything then. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. right. Next question. Oh, that's amazing. Oh God, Carl. Um, where would you go um, if you had a time machine? That's Bob from Manchester. Um. Where would I go? I can go to any time. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm, I'm now long one to get there. Oh, yeah. No, no, oh. no, no, but I'm just saying, what am I doing? Am I staying in the little box and just looking out of a window? Or am I- Let's assume you come okay, wandering around. Okay, we do both. First of all, you're, you're wandering round. I'm just- just one- and, and I've typed in the year. Oh, <sighs> and, yeah. and To be yes. honest, I'm not that good at history, so I don't know what happened when. So I'd be better off just sort of letting someone else have a go and asking them when they get back, just so- <laughs> Carl, where would you go? What do you fancy? Just think- Would you like on. to see dinosaurs? Would you like to see, uh, the Roman Empire? Would you like to see the 1960s? Would you like to go back and see your nan as a kid? Shouldn't really mess with time though, should you? No, you're not- It's okay. not actually gonna happen. No one's actually invented one yet. What's it, what- what period of history are you interested in? Um, uh, probably, I, I mean, I sort of like the 60s. Okay. But we still sort of, you know, we don't, we don't really- we Next question. Unbelievable. Everyone's right. got an answer to that. Everyone wants to know where they can go back in time well, except you. where would you go back in time to? I'd go back to, to religious times. I'd go back to, to the birth of Jesus. See what was going on. Really? Yeah. See how, see how the frankincense and mirror went down. There was, uh, I, there was this, um, uh, thing started, um, uh, 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 I saw it in the paper about 15 years ago. A guy put an advert in a local paper, I think it was in Sheffield, saying, um, I, I've been re reincarnated. I was a cow at the birth of Jesus. Is anyone else out there that was reincarnated? It was the birth of Jesus. Fella got in touch, said I was a cow too, and they started a society called Cattle for Christ. <laughs> Just the two of them. I don't know where they held their, uh, annual general meetings. Uh, I mean, I wonder think if that's that. still going. I, I don't know. But imagine if you were at the birth of Christ and they're going, oh, do you remember it? He goes, yeah, but I couldn't quite see. There was just a bit of wood in there. I didn't, yeah, yeah. I didn't really see that. I remember the, the men, they were arguing I, over spending. All I could see was your backside. I know, yeah. So, uh, think of that, Carl. Okay, final question. Right, okay. Carl, if you could, uh, travel back in time to ancient Rome yeah. and take one modern invention with you to set yourself up as a, as a god king, what would it be? What would you take back? That's from Amy. Sorry, Arvi. RV in London. Going back to Roman times. Yeah, so what would you take back to make sure that you were king? You, that, you know, would it be a weapon? Would it be, you know? Uh, yeah, a weapon. It's pretty violent times, wasn't it? Yeah, I'll have, I'll have a weapon if, if that's well, what. For what though? Uh, gun. Have a, have a gun, take that. And what would you do with it once you were there? Well, there's, I'd probably, I mean, I, I don't like killing animals and that, but, but those, they used to use tigers a lot, so shoot one of them in the head. Uh, <laughs> no, no, because it's- There's no explanation why! No just explanation just for it. it! Just do I it. just, I love him. Okay, look, we've got to give this, who, um, I think the, um, can Carl do something to prove you're alive? Yeah, you completely uh, foxed him. There was uh, nothing he could think of in his tiny little brain to prove that this is live. So, um, I think little Jason wins the, uh, the Coldplay collectibles and, uh, some other stuff. So, well done. It's, he still can't prove it. He still can't prove it. Play a tune, then we'll have some, uh, You could just news. said, you could have just picked up today's paper and read the headline. Think! <laughs> monkey news after this. Carl. We have just had, uh, a communique from Gillian Oliver, who's the communications, uh, director for the Church of England, yeah. okay? She wants to take you up on your offer. Um, she would like to take, uh, you, uh, to Manchester and let you give a sermon. About what? Well, d d don't you think that's a ma- she's- she's the- in charge of the press and communications for the Church of England, and she wants- you've got to do this, Carl, for my sake. I, I, I'll, I'll go to church if uh, you do this. I've, I've been, I didn't really like it. I had to go once to what church. Do you mean? Um, it was years ago when I was a kid and I swore, right? My mate Jamie said, right, if you don't come with me to church, because he was Catholic, he had to go. Right? <laughs> so if you don't, if you don't come with me now, I'm gonna tell your mum that you swore. And like, <laughs> That's like, how to get oh. people into church. <laughs> so I went, right? Yeah. Didn't enjoy it. Got any, I sort of got kicked out in the end because I was bouncing my tennis ball in the, in the <laughs> aisle and it rolled down. I, well I better tell uh, Gillian Oliver that that may happen again. Yes. That's the, if you don't take your yo-yo or your Ninter, you've got to do it. I'm gonna make sure, oh we want a campaign. Please uh, email us if you want, uh, uh Carl oh, oh. to do a sermon. And uh, I, I mean, I'm sure we can film this and put it on the web for you to see. Oh please do a right, religious sermon. Then. Are we, listen, uh, we've, we've barely got any time now for Monkey News. Now a lot of people are probably uh, unfamiliar with Monkey News because it's the first time we've been on Radio 2. Uh, Rick, how would you summarise Monkey News? I mean,
mean, obviously, Carl is fascinated by monkeys. Carl believes everything he reads. He goes on, uh, um, uh, websites with- that, that don't get, uh, verified at all. Um, it's mostly nonsense, but he believes it because there's about monkeys doing incredible things and- and, uh, Carl thinks that, uh, you know, monkeys can one day talk. He wants to live in the Planet of the Apes, yeah, basically. Yeah, that's his dream. He, he thinks the Flintstones is a documentary and, uh, and, uh, Carl, uh, right. let's do monkey news. Right, do the jingle? Well, do the jingle live. Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news! Right, well, I thought we'd go for sort of a, a Christmas feel, <sighs> right? So, uh, this one, it's, uh, it, it happened in Stockholm, right, a couple of years ago, around the mm. Christmas time. Mm. There's this little grotto, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Everything wow. he says is funny, yeah. isn't it? A, li a little grotto was set up and stuff, right? And, uh, it was getting busier and busier, right, this little grotto. There was only one in Stockholm, right? Q was massive and stuff. Well, that's not true. And this, uh... That's not true, there's no, no but one... fine, just listen. But that's not, but that's not true. A couple of years ago, if you just said a thousand years ago... Yeah, it was, it was busy and that. And there was this bloke, there was this bloke who had a kid and the kid was saying, Dad, you know, um, can I go and see, you know, Father Christmas in the grotto? Yeah. And he was like, ah, oh, I don't want to join that queue, it's too big, right? And, and <laughs> loads of the Father Christmases who was in the booth, they kept jacking it in because the queue was that big. What do you mean loads of Father Christmas in the booth? What because booth? Because they, they got through loads in the on, in the grotto, the Father Christmas and that, right? They couldn't act, act the, the pressure of the queues. The queues were massive for this grotto. This is rubbish! Right, so they come kept, on, come so on, they get yeah. getting through like loads of Father Christmases. They just right? get walking Different on. people, they kept saying, I can't handle this, you'll have to get a new one in, right? Right, okay. Anyway, so this fella, right, the kid kept asking every day, can we go in there? He said, no, look, the queue's big. Anyway, one day, the queue was suddenly a lot shorter. Right, because they got a new little Father Christmas fella. I can't. I mean, I no, can't. right in the right, grotto. Carl. If this Father Christmas turns out to be about so, three foot six and hairy, so anyway, right? So he's he's going. Come on, then we'll join the queue. Right? So he joins the queue, and he, he's, he's you know the queue's going down really fast. People are going in and out really quick. And he's going. How's how are they managing to do this? Right? And he sort of looks through the curtain. He can just see a little <laughs> slight thing, and he can see the bloke who's like dressed oh. up as Father Christmas. He's handing him out with his hands and his feet and that. <laughs> right? So. <laughs> So they're going. Ah, no, I'm look. If die. you don't, I'm going to die. You, so oh God. anyway, so please don't interrupt the news, Rick. Oh I want to hear God. the news. Just, just so uh, <laughs> so he's queuing up, right? And he's going. Oh, he's good. Good on him. You know, he's got a new method of handing out the presents and that. Whilst he's queuing there, his little fella selling uh, chestnuts. So he thinks, oh, I'll, I'll buy some of them, and uh, you know, some it to munch on whilst I'm in the queue and stuff. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, he's queuing up. He's eating the chestnuts. Comes to his turn, yeah. right? It's he, absolute he goes, rubbish. What, what are you about? It's absolute rubbish. This, this, so, this is, so, 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 cut a long story short. You reckon that they hired a chimp to hand out presents, Father Christmas? And so he, he brought the chestnuts in, and so the monkey attacked him. Well, and he, he went off, right? And he's going, why is, why is it all going mad? And you're that? absolutely you're fella, talking rubbish. There's a little fella that sat there with, uh, with like a little beard on and that. Yeah, yeah, and you're uh, talking rubbish. It, you're talking you, rubbish. You, well, no, no, it's, it's not worth me carrying on then. No, no, it's not worth me carrying on because again, it's absolutely well, rubbish. That didn't happen. There's no way they'd hire a chimp, well, and there's no way people go. Well, they they'd notice. They'd see well, it was a forget chimp. It, then, forget it. They'd say it was uh, absolute forget rubbish. Um, if you want to um, find out more about Carl, uh, what's the website address? Carl. BBC.co.uk. And we've drawn. A I've drawn a little picture that you can win of Carl, and it really sums him up. All right. See you later. Mm. Right. Next week, isn't it? Yeah. It's coming on.